about to start doing a thing here momentarily. Okay, so... Something I've wanted to do for a while is do some rebooking of WWE. Rebook the rebook WWE. I might have to adjust my audio here. One second. For some reason, it was kind of going like boom. I don't know why, but it should be a little bit better now. Anyway, so. It took me a while, but I'm finally going to do it, I hope. I didn't get anyone signed for my booking crew quite yet, but I'm going to do whatever dumb things I can. I hope that this works, because I've never tried to do a stream of EWR. This could either be really good or really, really, really god-awful. So, <clears throat> excuse me, time to get down to the thing. I'm going to see what I can do. I make no promises. So this is starting to read book from August 1st, 2003, when I would have been 13 years old. Does it show? It does not show every, f oh God. Okay, I'm going to have to keep switching between screens to make this damn thing work. <sighs> this is going to suck, but I'll figure out something. Delete the email there. That you just did not, you did not just see. There you go. I have to keep bouncing back and forth on this, these screens, and it's stupid. But, I'm in territory. Alright. Sponsors. Only search again. All right. So what shall I have for lunch then? Nine hundred twenty-four thousand, nine hundred fifty-five thousand, one million. I have thirteen. I'll we'll go for the big money here. Irwin's taxes. Paper show million dollars. Main sponsorship. Okay. World Domination Inc. Get you the minor one. 24, 55. Oh. And garbage people. So the good news is we'll be making big money. through the whole entire time. <sighs> meeting. And now I got to <laughs> switch the screen to the meeting screen. Talk to staff. This is gonna get annoying very quickly. Selfie thinks market's weakening. No one's unhappy. No one's ready to come up. Scouting staff. These are people that I could sign, but some of them, hmm, currently unemployed and has charisma. 
low-key has youth charisma and talent. There's people who have talent and charisma, people with charisma, people with talent. It's kind of a mess. Val Venus, Eddie Guerrero, and Rob Conway's current gimmicks are not really working. Hmm. Alright, so what's wrong with Val Venus, Eddie Guerrero, and Rob Conway's gimmicks? Possible gimmicks. This actually may get old very quickly. Should make kidding, it is already gotting old. Gotting old? Alright, so they say Eddie Guerrero's current gimmick of cheating face is not working. Okay. Rob Conley's current gimmick of evil foreigner is not working. Probably because he's an American. Val Venus's adult film star gimmick is not working. I don't know what good gimmick to give, though. So, I gotta do some thinking. Switch to the title screen. Triple H makes a good World Heavyweight Champion. Flair and Batista are too good for the Tag Champs. I'd give it to Nowinski and Mac instead. This isn't showing everything, it's just stupid. Tajiri makes a good Cruiserweight Champion. Randy Orton is far too good for the Intercontinental title. I'd give it to Bubba Ray Dudley. What? The Ashton Brothers are not ready for the WWE Tag Team titles. I'd give it to the world's greatest tag team instead. Big Show is far too good for the United States Championship. I'd give it to Rikishi instead. Molly Holly makes a good women's champion. Brock Lesnar makes a good world champion. Okay. Um, who's currently in Japan that I can't get a hold of? Let's see, All Japan has Amazing Red and Amazing Red. All Japan has IRS. What is going on here? Battle Arts. Nobody. Big Japan. Mentite, Mentiteo, Min, Michinoku, uh, Taka Michinoku, and, okay, New Japan, can't get Brian Danielson, Chris Candido, Christopher Daniels, just looking at a few of the names I could possibly get here, Osaka Pro, Pride, didn't know Pride did wrestling, Noah, Donovan Morgan, Doug Williams, Toyomon, what? World Japan, Road Warrior Animal, Steve Williams Invader, Wrestling Marvelous Future, and Zero One, Masato Tanaka, Loki, Samoa Joe, God damn it, Karino, who the hell's the Predator? It's not me, that's obvious. Other workers. I'm going to shortlist some people. Um, hmm. Is Minoru Suzuki on here? No, just Minoru Fujita. How about Shinsuke Nakamura? No? No Hiroshi Tanahashi. That's disappointing. 
Okay, I'm just going to put some people on the... Uh, short list, if nothing else. Huh, no John Zandig. That would have been funny if I've gotten John Zandig, but no John Zandig. Okay, so let's see what I can... Ones that I know I want. Let's... Get Jeff Hardy dislikes Triple H. Well, that's a shame. But I'm going to shortlist Jeff Hardy... Uh, let's see. Actually, I do want to shortlist... Dan I know there's a few I can't get to until Japan resets some stuff, but... Shortlist Brian Danielson. Uh, let's see. Christopher Daniels. Okay. Shirtless Chris Routine. My God. I just realized Brian Danielson is in Brian Danielson is in his mid forties now. Daniel Bryan. Holy hell. Um shortlist Christopher Daniels. CM Punk. Oh, there's CM Punk. Uh, shortlist CM Punk. About Dan Severn. Should I shortlist Dan Severn? And how freaking stupid am I if I think I should shortlist Dan Severn? Where's Ken Shamrock? If I'm going to do that. Hey, Mr. Kennedy. Ken Shamrock. Oh, Nash is already gone here. Okay. If you don't shortlist Sev all right, Square, I'll shortlist. <laughs> I will shortlist. I don't know if I've ever told anyone this. True. This is a true story. The last time I was at the, uh, the last time I was at the Island, not the Island Resort Casino, on that casino in Green Bay for a poker tournament, which, by the way, yet another failure. Um, I went, it was during the break, I went over to the bar because I was waiting on some food. And behind the bar was an it, autographed photo of Dan Severn. And I'm just, I just thought, what would Dan Severn have done to be at, to have a photo at the bar? And I didn't think about it for a while. And a few days ago, I looked at wrestlingdata.com, just looking up, well, well, different things happen in different areas of Wisconsin. And in 2000 or thereabouts, there was some sort of indie show in Green Bay at Oneida Casino, and Dan Severn was at the event and he had a match and he won. That's why he had a photo behind the bar. It's one of those cool story bro kind of moments, but. Yes, Dan Severn, the reason 
there is a photo behind the bar, one of the bars at Oneida Casinos because he was actually there. So I got a few people on my short list so far. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna try to throw a couple more on here. I'm gonna just for the heck of it. Any nationalities? I'm just gonna go Japanese. Cause I just want to see what I have available. And I know a bunch of them are gonna be. Um. A bunch of them are have commitment stuff, which kind of sucks, but I might try to. I'm gonna see what I can do. Oh, you're not able to see the other workers' screen? Ah, oh, crap. Let me just double check. Other workers, next. Done. Can you see it now? No search criteria. Oh! So you can't see the other workers screen either? You just see the big main screen. Because if that's the case, then this may be a total failure. Oh, you do see the, the other work. Yeah. The problem with, I'll say this, the problem with Twitch Studio Beta, which I'm using that because I've tried using OBS and it just does not work for me for some reason. OBS sucks for me. I'm assuming if I had that, it wouldn't, I wouldn't have to be dealing with constantly switching the screen share on this thing. But... Yeah, I, I, the problem with Twitch Studio is I have to con with EWR. It makes me switch screens constantly, and it sucks. It sucks, and I hate it. But this is what most. Yeah, I, I'm hardly surprised if they're having trouble too. Let's see. Well, since I'm not Vince McMahon, I think Hook Bomberry apparently was Japanese. I I must admit, I've never I've never really heard of Hook Bomberry outside of this game. He probably did something, and I don't know. I legitimately, never heard of him. Let's see, Kenzo Suzuki has a tour going. Kamiko Indohara is, re I it didn't show up, but related to Kurgan. Nasa oh, Nasawa! I, I seem to, I'm gonna sh oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Oops, it's shortlist search. Well, this is my shortlist so far. I have, Danielson, uh, Christopher Daniels, who's also, okay, see, I didn't really see a lot of PW, I didn't really see much of any PWG stuff, shame on me, I have Danielson, Daniels, Punk, Severn, and Hardy at the moment, and I want to add a couple more, I'm going to add a couple more people, and I know I can't get to Danielson and Daniels until New Japan resets their tour commitment, Back to Japan. What was I gonna do? Shonhong. Kajima. Oh! Oh! Japanese. Oh! Japanese pool boy. Should I short up this Japanese pool boy? <laughs> so, something tells me Japanese pool boy is somebody that I've never heard of. Or I might have heard of, but oh my god. Oh uh, least hit short list. Fifty can even I don't know if I can do fifty year contracts on here, but man, that's tempting. Japanese pool boy. 
my god, I saw Kojima on here. I am absolutely shortlist. God damn it, I did it again. <sighs> Try again. I, I hit I keep hitting shortlist search and I need to hit shortlist worker. But you better believe Kojima is on my shortlist now. Oh my god. There's not a lot of rec I mean, to be fair, it's 2003 and but you would have thought there'd be a lot more names from Japan on here. I'm a little disappointed. I mean, there's some recognizable names. Suzuki, the problem is, my only issue is I can shortlist some of them, but the problem is the commitment part, so. But I will shortlist Kenzo, Kenzo Suzuki, who will, who deserves, who, if I manage to put him on, would deserve way better than feuding with Tori Wilson for whatever the hell reason. Ah, yes, to train Suzuki. <laughs> Which, by the way, speaking of anything, I have three gimmicks I have to... Three people I have to find new gimmicks for. Because reasons that it gives me. I'm going to switch the criteria back to any nationalities just because... I know I can find more people here. Current shortlist is eight people. I hit the wrong button. I don't need to don't need to do the criteria. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. It's, that would be okay, so two dope and violent J, right? I think that's correct. Or not. No, he's not on here. I thought this was a June or July mod. This is an August mod. Because this started out in August. Hold on. Tag teams. Oh, these are mo view other tag teams. Oops. Uh, other tag teams. Next. And it might not be on this one. Because I grabbed the original one. It should be. It should be. I don't know why. I don't know why it's still not. Hmm. Back. David Young, Sonny. Ah! I have a dark screen. Tag teams. There we go. There we go, that's much better. Now, I can hit back again. There we go. Other promotions. Okay, I'm just looking at... There is no... Yeah, Juggalo Championship Wrestling isn't on this one for some reason. Bring up this screen. Other promotions. David Yun, another guy I never heard of outside of this, but I know he was part of the he was part of the NWTNA NWA TNA roster. But this is what I got. I got direct competitors, none. Global, none. National, TNA. <sighs> I've got. Well, I, at least TNA is still here. And I got Feder I got this I have a Quebec promotion. But <laughs> I don't think I could pull the it might be a little early for me to try to bop, pull that one off. Backyard only, small only. Uh 
regional. So there's a couple. <laughs> it is cowardice, although partially it's also because this is rebooking, not not try to actually be Vince McMahon in real life. <laughs> Oh, God. But so this is what I'm basically looking at. I could... I might try to poach... I'm probably gonna... Yeah, cashmere and acid. I know... I want to say... I'm going to hit other promotions again and also do a roster look at Reign of Honor's. Simply because... Oh, okay, there we go. Rival rosters. I want to say... When I was... When I would occasionally book ROH, just for a personal thing, I did tend to do quite a bit with... I did do some stuff... I shouldn't say quite a bit, but I did do some stuff with Cashmere and Acid. I'm trying to remember, I put them in a couple fe different feuds. But let's, see. yeah, I'm gonna shortlist uh, Acid and Cashmere for sure. Now you mention it. I know I. Like I said, I do have CM Punk on my short list and Christopher Daniels and Brian Danielson. I want to say, is AJ... Ooh. I'm gonna... I definitely want to short list AJ. You know what? I'm gonna see... That... View roster on that. Okay, I gotta ah, black screen again. There we go. Next, done. Okay. I don't know. I mean, there's some. I mean, there's some good names that I could get. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, there's a problem. I can't get everybody. Teddy Hart, unsackable. Um, who the hell are half of these people? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to get everyone because they got Bruce and Teddy are pretty much locked. <laughs> Yeah, on what planet is Teddy Hart unsackable? Apparently this one. <laughs> yeah, I'll see what, let's see. Um, yeah, let's have a little... I'm going to introduce a little chaos to this. Hey... Oh, I'll never... I guarantee you I'm not going to get away with this. It is time to do what we all thought we would... Freaking damn it again. It is time to do what we all thought we would do several years ago. I'm going to attempt to buy out IWA, okay. Well, screw you, Eden Rotten. You said pizza oven. <laughs> God, that was so many years ago. We almost, we almost did it. It was like, oh, let's buy the pizza oven. Hey, what if we bought the entire company? 
well, maybe we just buy a tape library. Yeah, but what if we bought the company, got a brand new ring, got rid of Dixieland Destroyer, because no one, <laughs> no one cared about Dixieland Destroyer. God. View roster, gotta switch the screen again. I, oh my God. Just for the sake of making sure that nobody, okay, at written contract, Alex Shelley. I, I usually I do sign Alex Shelley for developmental, and he comes up pretty quickly. Austin, oh God, Almighty, oh yeah, in steel. Austin Aries. I'm trying to remember Ace now. Ace Steel. Was with Punk and Cabana. I remember that. I want to say I remember reading that Ace Steel was the fake Donald Trump for the infamous, yeah, for the infamous Trump versus Rosie O'Donnell match on Raw in 2000. Yeah, yeah, it was Ace Steel, which is one of the. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you do a if you ever do a video, it's like, oh, the this is where all these indie guys, what these in, some of these indie guys did for cameos in WWE. Ace Steel was Donald Trump. <laughs> Ace Steel was Donald Trump, and then if you even some of the guys that ended up signed, CM Punk was a gangster. Uh, Tommaso Ciampa was Muhammad Hassan's lawyer. <laughs> Which is so weird to think of Tommaso Ciampa with hair and no beard and young. <laughs> Bull pain. I have no idea who the hell this is. Chip Douglas, Chucky Smooth, Colt. Boom, boom, Colt Cabana. Corporal Robinson. This guy. Danny Daniels, I want to say... I actually saw Danny Daniels, or it could have been someone else. The last time I went to a WWE event in Green Bay it was a SmackDown, a live SmackDown, and the dark match was Jack Swagger. This is 2016. Jack Swagger versus, and the guy was promoted as being Marty Lund Jr. And Suppose what that supposedly would have made him would have been, excuse me, Arn Anderson Jr. Now, when I looked, I looked it up, and supposedly it was actually Danny Daniels, but it might not have been him. It may have been someone else. But Swagger won the match, of course. But that's kind of one of those weird things. Don't know who dysfunction is. JC Bailey. This is a sad thing with me not being as familiar with the indie with the with indie stuff as a lot of other people. I like I'll I'll know some of the names, but I won't know all of them. Like Jimmy Jacobs, I know very much who Jimmy Jacobs is. Jorge Estrada. Now I should know who that is. Madman Pondo, I seem to rem remember for something. Jimmy Jacobs, zero technical. Huh, apparently. Oh, he's listed as an opener. So I wonder if he's... Oh my god. Pondo, zero technical. <laughs> this game is weird. Mark Wall. Michael Todd Stratton, Mitch Page, Nate Webb, ah, Nate Webb did stuff with CZW too, I think. Roland Hart, don't know who that is. Don't know who Ryan Boz. 
this random dude, Ryan Boss, has more technical in this game for some reason than Jimmy Jacobs. Shank Dorsey. Shirley Doe. Oh, Ryan Satin. Ooh, okay. Simon Says. Steve Stone, who should apparently have a picture, but that's not. Tarek the Great. And Tracy Smothers. And if we can't do better than them, straight up everybody dies. Tracy Smothers, no relationships found, but... My God, Tracy freaking Smothers. Doesn't even have his FBI stuff listed. Come on. What a shame. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> 30 year contract. <laughs> so let's see. 50 year contract for Japanese pool boy. <laughs> The Japanese pool boy had to have done something prior to Tracy Tracy Smothers and Stephanie McMahon. Oh my god. This could be fun. You know what? I'm going to shortlist... Damn it. I keep forgetting two, though. I can only shortlist 20 people at a time. Okay, I know it's black screen again, but I just want to see. I'll look. I'll look at. Let's see. What's one more promotion I can scour? Screw it. CZW. What horrifying things can I discover from CZW in 2003? Well, there's some. Oh my God, Zandig is there. Oh, he's unsack. Zandig is unsackable. Hello, Commander Flozen. Welcome. Apologies for no. Uh, apologies for no face cam. I kind of need all the space I can get to look at things. Yeah, Zandig is unsackable. Sadly. Ah, uh, I, God, I want Zandig so bad, I can't get Zandig. Nick Gage. Oh, <laughs> hey, Cl hey, club. Nick Mondo. Wife Beater. Hey, <laughs> club was dead. <laughs> oh, my God. And the sad thing is, there's probably some... Oh, God. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to bring the screen back up. I don't know if I'll be allowed, if they'll let me do this. Please, uh, Sanjay Dutt. Oh, my God. Oh, please. Please work. The CZW board. Screw you, CZW board. All right. Shared workers. Nobody working for both of us. Let's see. I'll hit back. All right. Other workers. Bring that screen back up again. Every week. Yeah. Damn right. I'm going to try it. I might do it every day. Commander Flusen, thank you for the follow. I'm going to try to do more, I will say this, I will try to do more EWR, mostly because I need to do something other than playing Left 4 Dead 2 all the time. That and I'm going to have a little fun, I think. So, alright. Short list. I'm going to go over my short list. All... Actually, before I do that, I'll... S Before I do that, I'll throw some more people here on this. Sanjay Dutt. 
Sanjay Dutt, short list. Solo Snuka. Solo Snuka, apparently not related to Jimmy Snuka Jr. Which league? Um, are we talking about EWR? Or are we talking something else? Oh God! I I'm sure I just I just went right past them. All right. Oh, WWE. It's mostly because it's one I'm a bit more familiar with. I probably will do a diff another rebooking as well. I mean, right now I'm just doing a WWE one. I probably will do an August 2003 ROH one or TNA one as well, which could be fun. And you know what? I'm actually going to... Making sure there's nothing that I need to worry about. Okay. I am going to do written one year 40,000 development deal for Okay, Shane Ballard wants more money. How about fifty thousand? Shane Ballard will sign for fifty thousand dollars. Cheerleader Melissa, is she on here? She might be on here. She is on here. I'll come back to her momentarily. I do want to put cheer cheerleader Melissa on here though. <laughs> I try to keep up with everybody here. Uh, Shannon Ballard, I'm pretty sure it's going to need to be a 50k one as well. But development deal written, and I'm presuming 50k a year. Where's Roadblock? I'll, I'll at least stare at Roadblock for a minute. I don't see ro I see roadkill. I see on hey, I see on this roadkill. Of all the people to be seen, I see Amish roadkill. <laughs> Amish roadkill, who apparently was going to be repackaged as some jo as some generic big monster guy and then Vince kind of lost interest and yeah this is an August 03 mod so sadly I don't have roadblock cheerleader Melissa oh okay it didn't show up but friendship with Bradshaw and Undertaker. Shows there's a manager. Let's see what I can I do. 36. Cheerleader Melissa signs contract. Just take a quick look. Oh, I gotta show Extreme Mail. Next. Done. Yeah, I was going to get you. I felt cheerleader Melissa was a good, a worthwhile pick. Good idea to hire cheerleader Melissa. Oops. Undertaker. Oh, and also my, uh, let's say clear all. Uh, let's see. I'll do a couple more signings and I'm going to start doing the actual booking. Try to get a couple weeks of stuff in before I call it an evening. Oh yeah, I do have I have AJ shortlisted. And you know what? I should just I should just bite the bullet and just bring him in. 
dislikes Devin Nash. Friendship with Daniels, Brown, and Lynn. Most of whom are already in TNA. Okay. Open contract, 40k an appearance, written, and I'm gonna go way higher than that, because of course I will. Ooh! 75,000 a year, AJ Styles is in our upper mid card! That's actually a... That's actually a good signing. Just a quick look at some of the other people on here. Not necessarily going to sign all of them, but I just want to have a little fun showing. Ahmed Johnson. Ah Ahmed Johnson. Charisma 34. Technical 0. Speed 0. Brawl 18. Yeah, Ahmed Johnson. There is no planet on which... <laughs> Ahmed Johnson. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Alex Wright. Which I would have thought would have had some better stats than this. Slightly better stats. Amazing Red is kind of... I would have signed Amazing Red, but he's a little out of question because... Part of all touring with All Japan... So I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to hit the uh, wait button on that. But he is shortlisted. Oops. Antonio Banks, who I believe is MVP. And you want to know something? MVP? Welcome to my development territory for twenty five thousand a year. That one I do remember. Austin Aries. I'm a little leery about that. Axel Rotten, Balls Mahoney, Road Dog. Blood relative Natalia. Huh? Oh, Bam Bam Bigelow. The late quick. Speed zero tech. Speed zero? Okay, that is crap. Boss Rootin. How brawl I would have thought would have been a little higher, but what do I know, I guess? Quicks. Uh, where's. For the sake of nothing. Oh my god. No way. Yeah, that's that's fine, Frozen. I will definitely be doing more of this. So. Thanks for showing up and thanks for the follow and. I would, like I said, I'll be doing more of this for sure. At the moment, I'm going to keep just looking over a couple of these and probably going to snap up another one or two and then start booking. Oh my god. Ultimate Warrior. Why? Why is Ultimate Warrior involved in any of this? That's evil. Tony Kazina, I remember that name from somewhere. Let's see. My god, Tito Ortiz. It is so tempting. It's so tempting, I don't want to do it. Cliff Compton. Formerly known as Dom also known as Domino. I actually like Cliff Compton. I, something's wrong with me, but I like Cliff Compton. Who the hell is Devin Nash? Blood relative Bret Hart hates Deacon. Devin Nash. 
Dino. Oh, that's not Dino Winwood. Probably. Damn it! <laughs> Something to find. Dinovsky Christofferson Winwood. Doc Sch Oh, Ron Doc Schultz. D-Lo. Ooh, I could bring in D-Lo. Various doinks. Don Callis. Oh! Let's see. Doug Williams. Oh, wait. The, uh, the age might be an issue there. Dr. Wagner Jr. Dutch Mantel. Quick continue look there. Frank Shamrock. Oh my god. Kazarian. Oh my god. You were gonna ships. Ooh damn it. Oh I just know I'm gonna go nuts. I'm just normally gonna go nuts. Roddy Piper. What? Hey, there's Roderick Strong. Ron Waterman, who I'm pretty sure very few people have actually heard of. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, oh, I gotta control myself from doing some of the dumb things I'm gonna. I just know I'm gonna do. Ricky Banderas. I should know who Ricky Banderas is. Oh my god. Randy Savage. Hate Hulk Hogan and Lex Luger. Well, who doesn't hate Hulk Hogan? Oh. Okay. I know I'm going to be stupid in Prince Juggalo. Okay, is Nigel McGuinness on here? Nigel McGuinness is on here. Sweet. Okay. So, I'm gonna snag a few more people here. And then start. There's Norman Smiller. Okay. Alright, I, I actually have to start picking some people up here, or I'm never going to get started. If I wasn't on stream, I would totally do it. I would totally do it. Alright. Steve Will- Oh, he's truly in World Japan. Steve Williams! That's Doc- it's Dr. Death! Dr. Death! <gasps> Fuck Dr. Death! And that's now out. Steam. Ooh. Scott's, I should still have Scott Steiner. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm gonna go... God almighty. I'm, you know what? Ooh. Uh, I'm going to shortlist Samoa Joe. Because sometimes I get lucky on some of these, but... 
All right. So I got to start. I'm going to assign a couple more people and actually I will actually have to kick this off. So Tito Ortiz All right, you know what? Because I'm crazy as in very crazy. I am going to sign Tito Ortiz for eighty-five thousand dollars a month. Uh, not month. Oh my god! What is this? Oh, it's not an open contract. Year. Kevin Nash. Not saying Kevin Nash. Ken Shamrock. Oh my god. I feel like I almost have to sign Ken Shamrock too. Damn it, so you drive me nuts. <laughs> Ken Shamrock is a great all arounder, currently accepting independent bookings. <sighs> Ken Shamrock. Or I could sign Kamala. I'm not going to sign Kamala. Let's be honest. Hoovy, which I'm not shortlisting. Um, hmm. Frank Shamrock. Opener. He's an op. Frank Shamrock is an opener. How is that possible? Well, I have just signed Frank Shamrock. I'll sign two more people, cause and, and then I. God, this is a problem. Once I get started signing people, I can't stop myself, and I need to stop myself at some point. Oh, there's the great Kali. There's Giant Gonzalez, who uses the Chokey theme as a finisher. <laughs> what? Oh, Homicide. Oh my god. I have to sign Homicide. Homicide, now signed. All right, one more. One more. I, 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 mm. God, I'm, I'm, my signing madness is getting out of hand. Oh, God. Um, McGinnis, I think I have him short. Oh, I have no more empty spaces on my short list. Oh, shit. Well, um, hmm. Mohammed, oh, Mohammed Yone. Well, he's Japanese. He's not. Mohammed Yone was Japanese. 
What the hell? Okay. Uh, let's see. Quackenbush? Absolutely not. Okay. Um... Screw it. I am signing. I am signing Kojima. There we go. Check my short list. I'm going to have to remove some people off my short list now. But that's okay. Oh my god, what have I just done? <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. What have I done? Oh, this is gonna be... Okay, I gotta start putting some people around on the roster. Oops. Let's talk to my staff, just see what they think. Okay. AJ hasn't debuted. Kojima, Cheerleader Melissa, Homicide, and Tito Ortiz have all yet to debut, but whatever. Okay, for some reason, it's this kick dog Lee later. All right, now. Time to put some people on brands. Cheerleader Melissa needs to go on a brand. Homicide. Is gonna go on. Let's see, homicide brand. Gotta think of what brand I should put homicide on. Kojima, I need to see where he goes. Tito, I need to guess. So I'm on a quick roster, just kind of give me an idea of what I'm dealing with. Main event, I didn't even look at this part yet. Main eventers, Brock Lesnar, Triple H. So let's see, I'm probably going to do uh, Triple H and The Rock. Or, and then I'm going to do Lesnar and probably Angle, Rock and Triple H, maybe. Upper mid Carters. Who do I got? AJ. That's so I heal. Smackdown. Jericho's a tweener at the moment. Benoit, Guerrero, Edge. I'm going to put AJ on Raw. Mostly because, as far as upper mid Carters go, I just have Booker T and RV, Booker T, RVD, 
Jericho. Yeah, I'm gonna put eight. So AJ's going on Raw. Mid Carters. Kojima is gonna go on. Hmm. Boss Man doesn't even have a brand. I should put Boss Man on a brand. Boss Man will go to. Oh my god. SmackDown is very heel heavy on the. So is Raw. God almighty. Um, yeah, I might as well just pick and stick with it. Tito Ortiz is going to go to SmackDown. Homicide will go to SmackDown. The end, I have... I also have jobbers. Or openers, but I... Jobbers, let's be honest. Terry doesn't have a brand. Put her on Raw. And I'll put Cheerleader and Melissa on SmackDown. Vince can go on any brand, apparently. Alright, so... Let's set people on rosters. Cheerleader Melissa is part of the SmackDown roster. Homicide is part of the SmackDown roster. AJ Styles is part of the Raw roster. Tito Ortiz is on the SmackDown roster, as is... Oh, no. No, it's gonna... Alright, I just said it wasn't gonna do. Koji is either Raw or SmackDown. And I shall put him on... Let's go... Actually, I'll just go with SmackDown. No. Can't have let SmackDown have all the toys. He goes to Raw. There. That part's done. Now, feuds. Is feud time. All right, here we go. Oh, it's gonna put Boss Man on the brand. Oh well. Lesnar versus, let's just keep going with the classic, Lesnar and Angle. Wow, 100 heat. Rock and Triple H. Let's give AJ a hot feud start. It's AJ Styles and Randy Orton. <laughs> Fifth, er, six, however the hell many years before it actually happened. Young AJ. Let's see. Now to remember... Oh. 
Okay, that's something else I'll deal with later. Let's see. Whoops. Forgot. Just set that. There we go. My feuds. Damn it. <laughs> Can't do a feud with the Bashams, but sure you get that. Damn it. Shoot. Buggery. Ha! Kojima. I almost want to give Kojima a feud right away. I don't know why, but I suddenly want to do a feud between Rikishi and Kojima. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have to sign a manager to Satoshi Kojima simply because I'm actually going to go back now and do that because Satoshi Kojima is a non-speaking person. So he needs to have a manager. He needs to have a manager. And, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. So that'll help. I mean, at least book one week of shows before I I say that's enough. So there's two, two. But what I'm going to end up doing is Big Show's going to drop the belt to Rikishi, get attacked by Kojima, and it sets up Kojima and Rikishi for the United States Championship. It is not necessarily the most brilliant idea I have, but what the heck. Obviously, Lesnar versus Angle and Rock versus Triple H for the big belts. AJ is on the same level as Orton in terms of the... Uh, of where the roster is set. Which could... Which means when... If AJ ends up Intercontinental Champion, it'll be like... Oh, AJ is too good for the belt. You should give it to somebody else. Which I can do that. It's just, this is what I'm doing for right now. Let's see. What's another feud? I want to do a lower card feud for the sake of... Look at my roster again, real quick. Oops, that's not what I want to look at. I want to look at titles. Tajiri makes a good cruiserweight champ. Okay. And Molly. All right. So I. Ah! Oh. 
Okay, so this one I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna do a cruiserweight title feud. But it's actually gonna be I don't have Paul London on a brand yet. I didn't even think of that. Oops. Huh. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do... Actually, I'm going to do a tag title feud. I'm going to do Bradshaw... I'm going to do the APA against the Bashams. Actually sounds good. That's a nice opener feud, I think. Card opener feud. So I got three for SmackDown. Let's do another yeah. Raw feud. So I only have three for Raw at the moment. How about a women's tile feud? You know what sounds good to me? A well done women's title feud. So I'm going to do Trish and Big Boss Man. No. I'm going to do Trish and. Where's Molly Holly on here? Trish and Molly. So there's three raw feuds. I need to do. I'm gonna do one more raw feud and one more SmackDown feud. I think I want to do a nice little SmackDown lower card feud. And why not have it between two guys who just showed up? Inexplicably, I like this. Tito Ortiz and Homicide. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Tito Ortiz and Homicide. Lesnar, Angle, Rock, Triple H. One more Raw feud. I figure, I'm going to try to get, keep Undertaker busy because if this feud ends with Lesnar as champ, it's going to go Undertaker next. Lesnar and Taker. It should do a good feud with Undertaker at some point, though. And finally, in one more Raw feud, and let's build somebody on Raw. What's some good lower card dudes on Raw? How about... How about, holy crap, that looks like ass. Um, ha. Mid-card raw, guys. Let's look at this instead. Who do I got? Not much. How about a really, let's do a really completely stupid feud that makes no sense under any circumstances whatsoever. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Said I should. Actually, let's do this. Let's, there, this feud did happen. And what the hell? What the hell? 
Titles. Flair and Batista. What the hell? Are you serious? I can't do that? Son of a bitch. All right, well, that's out. Ah, screw it. I can get the. I'm gonna do. I have to do the same thing as I'm gonna do with. Damn it, this sucks. I don't know why I can't. There we go. Dudley's versus Law Resistance. This sucks. Where is Ric Flair anyway? Ric Flair, manager. Well, he's gonna have to drop the belt soon, unfortunately. All right. So, looks good for the moment. Let's check the internet. I just randomly found some stuff here. I need to put Paul London on something, too. The next day, Dan Severn has agreed to an open contract. Brian Danielson an open contract. Brian Danielson, okay. Danielson and Severn are on several different open contracts. Okay, fine, whatever. Okay, SummerSlam's coming up, so I'm kind of... Brian Danielson is working for something else. Okay, fine. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I got a book. Sunday Night Heat. Um, back. I haven't even started any booking options. Match of Force will be written by Scott Keith. Back. Next day. All right. Time to start booking. It's time to book Sunday Night Heat. Sunday Night Latina Heat. That's not actually a thing, but I'd like to pretend that it is. my first match
I yeah, screwed this up immediately, but all right. Yeah, do the tile change here. Why on heat? Why not on heat? So just see what I got now. So I have two matches set. Oh wait, I want to actually book a match after that. I don't want to book an angle here. Oh, right, I forgot, I put Kojima on. Oh, shoot, I put Kojima on Raw and forgot I gave him... Oh, god damn it. Oh, shoot, I forgot, it does erase the... Oops. See, I put Kojima on Raw, and he's supposed to be in a SmackDown feud. I'm an idiot. Alright, let's redo this. I, I, let's start over here. Actually, I'm going to do this differently. I'm not going to have Tito. I'll do this something different there. Actually, let's book Angle. Manager. Manager, Paul Heyman. Client, Satoshi Kojima. I have to have at least three matches, which I will easily be able to do. SmackDown, book a match.
Kojima versus who could be an unfortunate victim for Satoshi Kojima? Turn it up. can't really see the booking wizard screen at the moment, but actually you can't see any screen at the moment. All right, back to this. Now, The second match. Is my tag title match. Bubba and Devon against Batista and Flair. Bubba will pin himself. No, I'm just kidding. Bubba beats Rick. Bubba clean win. However, Rene Dupre and Sylvain are going to stake their claim. I could do Tito versus Nunzio and Homicide versus Noble to kind of help kick that off. Or I could do, or I could just have Akio versus uh, Tito Ortiz, since they're both they're already there. None. Winner, Tito Ortiz. Clean finish. Tito celebrates. Purpose to debut Tito. Done. Now let's book an angle. Angle. 1v1. Tito and Homicide, because there's a few that I'm going to do there. And let's book a match where Homicide beats up on Jimmy Noble. Why am I doing a Homicide versus Tito Ortiz feud? Because I can't think of anything better. No belt. 
Homicide wins. And Homicide beats up on Jamie Noble. And one more thing, it's going to be a raw thing. I already have four matches. Let's do one more match. I know I'm going to do AJ and Orton, but let's debut AJ first. AJ versus William Regal. Sounds like a good, good debut for AJ. Put him in a match against William Regal. Complete. Start the show. Oops. Match report. Next. Done. Paul Heyman comes down the ring, takes a microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, and I am now the proud. Now I gotta redo that. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, and I am not only the advocate for the undisputed WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar, I am also the advocate for the newest member of the SmackDown roster, Satoshi Kojima. <clears throat> that hurt to do. Satoshi Kojima versus Sky Kuhati. Channeling the spirit of Masawa, who was not dead yet. That was several more years, so that's really harsh in hindsight. Can read some of this. And Kojima Lariato! Two and a half stars. Okay, well, that sucks. Tito Ortiz. Crowd did not give a shit. Two and a half stars. Tito going into the crowd and he goes backstage. When he walks in ha walks up to haunt or blah, 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 runs into homicide. Homicide, not happy to see him. But this just kind of fuels that feud a wee bit. Homicide wins and then beats the piss out of poor old Jamie Noble. Hard back suplex. Yeah, the teardrop suplex was Shawn Michaels' finisher at one point. Sorry, but super kick's way better. Sweet chin music. Happens twice. William Regal lost overness from this match, by the way. I don't know how that happened. Hmm. That's a shame. Dudley Boys. Flair and Batista lost overness. The Dudleys gained overness, and the tag tiles have gained an image. Hmm. Two stars. Ooh. Well, he just got a shit rain. Check feuds quickly. You need to build this rivalry up more. It's barely st you barely started the damn thing. Okay, let's show the mailbox. Huh. Okay. Wild Side TV are trying to compete with us by being destroyed in the ratings. Shawn, Shawn Michaels wants a feud with Chris Jericho. I can do that, I think. AJ, AJ also wants a feud with Chris Jericho. Alright. 
Tia. Oh, Tia wants to fuse with K Satoshi Kojima. God damn. Well, as soon as the homicide feud's over, we can do that. Uh, oh, I might as well delete some of the other things that don't really mean jack and or shit. So, let me put some notes down. Okay, set some notes down. <clears throat> Cheerleader Melissa hasn't debuted yet, but all the other people have debuted. Excuse me. <clears throat> all right, Monday night raw. Time to do it's time to start the Triple H Rock Feud. More or less. Cheerleader Melissa Wayne debut, but she's on SmackDown, so that's kind of out of the question. Oh, here we go. Oops. Back, exit, there we go. Make sure I got this right. <clears throat> interview. AJ is going to be interviewed about facing Chris Jericho. And he's going to get jumped by Rand Yorton. Trying to do some simple booking. Because simple booking is worthwhile booking. Actually, I'm gonna. Oops. I can save a clean AJ Jericho finish for later. You know, I might as well just hit continue feud on that, even though it's like, that makes no sense. We're continuing a feud that hasn't really even necessarily started, but whatever. It works sometimes, and sometimes it just makes me think, what the hell am I doing? Okay, I'm also on. I'm not even showing the correct screen here. There we go. Yes. 
So, at the moment, I got two of my feuds. I still have two more of my other Raw feuds to bring up. And yes, a 2003 Monday Night Raw opening with Triple H. The game doesn't work like real life, though, so it may not hurt. I'm going to do Dudley Boyce getting up, being a little bit upset about what happened involving the... Actually, no. We're going to have Rene Dupree. We're going to have Dupree and Sylvan talk a little bit about why they attacked Bubba and Devon. And we know why they attacked Bubba and Devon. They attacked Bubba and Devon because they want the belts. They want them straps. And to kind of help hype that up, just a wee bit, they are going to beat up on Hurricane and Rosie. Now, Hmm. Molly Holly pick a fight with Trish. 
so there's that. But I need uh, two more matches. I only have one, two, three matches. This is just a completely random match. Put on a good match. Because why wouldn't you want to put just put on a good match? You know what else be putting on a good match? Just out of the blue, Christian versus Shawn Michaels. Triple H is in the ring. Rock decides to call him a monkey's nipple because that's what the Rock does. Ooh, two and three quarter star match between Matt Hardy and Lance Storm. Christian and Shawn Michaels have a three, three and a quarter star match. It's kind of nice. Hmm, that seems pretty poorly written. Randy Orton, feud with AJ. Lars Estance, feud with Dudleys. Lars Estance beat up Hurricane and Rosie. Dudleys, I'm going a little fast, but I know. Whatever. Dudleys feuding. One star match. Oof. AJ and Jericho. It's just a hype match. Oh, hello. Jericho lost overness. AJ gained overness. Four and a half stars. And a 100% match quality. Hello. Where is nowhere? And why do moves keep coming from out, out of there? Does it have a factory? You do it twice, you bastards. 77. Okay. Delete the thing. I get told that uh, Lara is a stance for 12, the other is a team. You don't fucking say. The Dudleys make good tag champs, by the way. According to this. Alright, now you get to book SmackDown! The Smack and also of the Down.
wonder if I can get away with doing this right away. Big show and the big quiche. Yeah, black screen for a moment, sorry. Oh! Oh, Big Show has no problem with losing Rikishi. There's a screen there. here. Undertaker versus Lesnar and A Train. It's a match that can main event an arena anywhere in the country. As it so happens, this will main event the brand new, the fairly brand new Rest Center in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Because remember, this is in 2003 and the Rest Center opened in September 2002. <clears throat> anyway. The APA is going to talk about their feud with the tag, the current, the feud they're going to have with the current tag champs, the Bashams. But first, they're going to beat up on. <laughs> oh dear. I'm realizing this isn't the greatest idea, but. <laughs>
Got a little bit of a headache going. Took some Tylenol, but it hasn't really helped. So I got three matches. I need one more match. 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 Oh, Cena's a face already. In August of 2003? What? What is this shit? Let's see, Tito and Homicide feuding. And there's all four, and all four of my feuds already have something going. Oops, come on. Let's get the person I want here. Wait, I want to do something different. Random triple, random ass triple threat. For the Cruiserweight Championship. Zero reason to do this other than I just feel like it.
So I think of how I wanna. I gotta fill three more spots. Still two more matches. Shelton Benjamin. This person wins. This person wins. This person does a thing. It's... I suppose it'll be a good match. And finally... It's been a while since I played this, so I'm I'm not really spacing this out quite as well as I should. Cena and Sean O'Hare. Why Cena and Sean O'Hare? I have no idea. Cena beats Sean O'Hare. Word life basic ergonomics. And let's capture the screen. Big Show loses to Rikishi in a star and a half match. But Kojima shows up and just goes kapow. APA gets attacked by the Bashams. Tito wins over Chavo Guerrero, but gets beat up. Oh, three-star match. That's nice. Heyman and Kojima. I gotta remember this. Uh, Tajiri retains the Cruiserweight Championship. Kojima beats and then beats up Ultimo Dragon. Uh, 
uh, Shelton Benjamin and that guy have a three-star match. Oh, Cena and O'Hare with a three-star match? That's damn good. That's nice. Angle, Lesnar. And they have a three-star match. God. Huh, that's not bad. Aside from the start of the show, it's just actually been pretty good. Check my mail. Delete that. And hit the mail part. Uh-oh. Well, Palumbo doesn't want to work with Fruit anymore. Bradshaw. All right, let's see. Check my feuds, see how that looks. So if he thinks it needs, mm, needs to up, barely be gone. Okay, nothing really going with the feuds. I think I can call that right there. But hold on. So this is my, yeah. Right. Doing a quick once over on a few quick things here. All right, I think you can call that nice first week. Just more weeks to come, and hopefully, each week we'll get somewhat better than the next so yeah I'm going to eat something and go to bed because I have to be up and move in early for work tomorrow of course so until next time